welcome back to the Hugh Gaming, everybody. This is Retro Bowl. This is a new game to the channel, not necessarily a new game in general, but it is a game that I enjoy and love playing, especially when I'm just chilling, watching some TV or whatever it may have you. So I want to bring the game to the channel. I think you guys will enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments section, though, if you have played the game or if you do uh, enjoy it as well. Like the videos. That helps a lot. And let me know how far you are. You can go, to my knowledge, there's no end to how many seasons. Now, there may be, and I don't know that, uh, but I know I have uh, someone, uh, my brother-in-law, who has gone like over 30 or 40 seasons in the game, and my other brother-in-law is the same way. I've only made it to about 18, so there's a lot of longevity in this game. And the games are pretty quick, so you can change some settings. We'll dive, we'll dive in, and we'll show you all about that. I am going to walk through the tutorial with you today, so you can kind of get an idea for the game. Uh, but then we're just going to dive in and play the series. So let's jump in here. Welcome to Retro Bowl. You are about to start your first season as the head coach of a pro football team. The path to success is an arduous one. But if you believe in yourself and you can inspire your team, then glory awaits. We're going to jump in here and we're going to, let's use LaHue Gaming as our name, just for the sake of the channel, how about? Awesome. Next. We're going to change our football team. I am a Chiefs fan, die hard. I'm always wearing something Chiefs. And if you've noticed on videos I record on Friday, I'm wearing a red and yellow polo. That's my Chiefs polo. So we're going to start with our favorite team. Retro Bowl is a game all about building a legacy. If you choose to start with your favorite team, that's fine. But the story of your career will be a simple one. Why not start out at a low-ranked team and prove yourself as a head coach before receiving that dream job offer from your favorite team? Hmm. You know, I don't mind that idea. I do like that. Let's change it. Let's. That's my favorite team, but we're just going to start with whatever team they give us. With just one week left in the regular season, Denver have appointed LeHue Gaming as their new head coach. Gaming has worked at the college level for several years and was excelling as a head coach of Maryland before taking the reins at Denver. Impressive. Welcome to Denver. This is your home screen. You can tap on the division table to view, view divisions and the schedule. When you're ready, tap the F office button. Uh, we are going to go through the tutorial. So it wants us to go to the front office. From the front office, you can upgrade facilities and staff. Tapping an I icon will bring up useful information. Okay. We're going home. I'm sure you want to meet your players, so let's check the roster screen. Okay. These are your key players. You don't need to manage the entire roster. Just take care of these guys, and everyone else will fall into line. Tap on a player to open his profile. It really wants me to check out Cooks, the quarterback, so we're going to tap on him. Here you can view, your view player details and attributes. Keep an eye on morale and condition. Poor morale can lead to game penalties and problems off the field. Low condition can lead to injury or worse, fumbles. Nobody likes to fumble, guys. Check that out. So he's 22 years old. He's got a $20 million contract for two years. His morale is great. His condition's great. And he's valued at a round two pick, which you'll see there's only ever three rounds to your draft. So once us go to the home screen. All right. Before we head into a game, let's go over the basics for controlling your players on the field. Okay. First up, passing. Drag your finger in the opposite direction of the running receiver to aim, then release to throw. So, what they're talking about here, and I don't have the ability to show you on camera, uh, but I'm going to be basically tapping anywhere around the quarterback, which has got the white circle around it, and dragging my finger to the right as my receiver runs to the left along that green route, and then down. So, we're going to drag back like that, and then release the ball, and kind of hit his line. However, I will tell you, you don't need to hit where the receiver is planning to go. You can throw it at any time as long as it's in his general area and he will most of the time try to get to it. Excellent. This time the quarterback will drop back with the ball slightly. Guys, I'll be right back. I have to take a break and then I'll be back on the video. All right, guys, and we're back exactly where we left off. Let's finish this tutorial here. So we're going to drag and hold and fire look at that so we caught it success beautiful nice at the start of each play you can hand the ball off to your running back by tapping the blue circle swiping up or down whilst running will perform a sidestep or you can swipe back to slow up 
That is something I did not know, but I don't know that it works or it's that useful. So we're gonna tap on the running back and we're going to, oh, we got knocked down by the dummy. Oh, well, let's try it again. So we're gonna tap on him here and we're gonna miss that one and we're gonna dodge that one. Oh my gosh, I've never failed this. This is crazy. All right, let's do it one more time. We should have no problems this time. So we're getting across that one. Oh my gosh. Guys, what is going on here? Okay, let's go. Get over there, get over there, get over there. <laughs> oh man, it's a tutorial and I failed, how terrible. Well done, you can also run with the quarterbacks. You do this by attempting to throw the ball backwards. Once he is running, you can swipe forwards to dive. So you just pull back just like that, and now he's running the football, and that's the fastest quarterback I've ever seen, uh, short of Michael Vick, I guess. So. Throw the ball backwards. Basically, you're touching the quarterback and dragging to your left instead of your right, which is how you typically throw. And there you go. So we have another chance. We're gonna dive. Oh, that's the thing. They wanted us to dive, so that makes sense. Great, diving can help you reach for a first down or a touchdown. It also protects against a fumble, which is so inaccurate because if you dive, you're less likely to hold on to the ball with it out in front of you. Finally, kicking. Two well-timed taps and the ball will fly through the uprights. So you're waiting for the green bar to max out and then also be in the middle of that little highlighted area. Unfortunately, it's really fast, so I can't like pause it. Uh, nice kick. Remember, the goalposts are the same width as the hash marks on the field. You can use the faint triangle on the ground as a guide, which is what I was talking about. Let's try one a bit further out. Continue. So max and in the middle of the highlighted area, beautiful. Not great at kicking field goals, but maybe on the tablet I'll be better. Well done. You've taken charge of Denver near the end of a difficult season. Just enough time to get the hang of things before next season starts. The Denver fans are desperate for you to turn things around. Good luck. And if you watched the game last night, this being, sorry, <laughs> the 7th of December, uh, the Chiefs just beat Denver, which was phenomenal. A little bit too stressful for me, but we still came out with the victory. They are in desperate need of a turnaround. That is for sure. They are 2-13, and 13, and they have the Kansas City Chiefs at 12-3. and three. Although I don't know that they can actually use the uh, mascot names. So like the Chiefs or the team names, Chiefs, the Broncos, the Raiders, things like that. They do have the cities, which is kind of cool. Um, jump in the front office, just some things to go over real quick. So right now we have a salary cap of 150 million. So before I do anything else, we're gonna go into our settings here and look at a few things. So we can exit the game, we're not gonna do that. There's camera zoom, there's music, we're gonna turn that off. Sound effects, we're gonna turn that off. Uh, I already have the sound on my tablet turned off, but just in case. The drive direction is interesting. You can go left, you can go right, or you can do both. I have always played going always to the left. And that's how the game originally was. We may try some different setups in the future, but for now we're just gonna maintain going always to the left, kinda of like Zoolander. All right, quarters, you have two minutes, three, and that's it. So we're gonna to stick to two minute quarters. If you guys wanna see me expand to three minute quarters down the road, that's absolutely phenomenal. I'm down for trying that out. The dynamic, now this is interesting because this changes as your, uh, abilities go up. So when set to dynamic, the game difficulty will adjust automatically, getting harder when you win games or easier if you lose. The extreme setting makes all opponents play with a five-star rating regardless of what their actual rating is. So you got dynamic, easy, medium, hard, extreme. We're going to set it to dynamic for now just because dynamic means that it's going to play along with us, which is kind of cool. We're going to leave the weather on Replays off because I don't really see a purpose to the replays and right now the team editor we're going to leave that alone However, we are going to change from a 10-man roster to a 12-man roster and simply because if We go into our front office now. We have a 200 million salary cap and we can hold two more players But we don't have to the other thing to look at here is you have your stadium your training facilities and your rehab facilities all of which are really low right now you want to get those up and it costs one more coin each time. So right now it would cost us two coins. Let's go ahead and do that actually. We're going to upgrade our stadium. That was an achievement. Perfect. Now it's at two level two with the others. You want to get them all the way maxed out to 10 and keep them there. If you check that out, you can click on your offensive coordinator. He has no trait, but you can uh, make his training light or hard 
Basically what that means is right here. Setting the trading regimen to hard will help players gain more XP per game. However, they will consume more energy, be less happy, and their risk of injury is increased. And essentially it's the exact opposite for light. So less XP, but they don't lose as much energy. You can also extend your contract for your offensive coordinator there. Same thing with the defensive coordinator. If we check out here, we have free agents available to basically purchase off of a wire. Um, we have one coin right now, so we can't really afford anything. But the technically the highest rated guy is Kendall Ijalana. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I've never seen a name spelled like that. He's the value of a round three pick. He's got a three-year, $12 million contract you can sign, and his potential is only two stars out of five. Um, if we go into our roster, we can see our quarterback, who is a two-and-a-half out of a two-and-a-half star potential, so that's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, we also have a running back, Kerry Schnell, $6 million for three years, which is a really low contract, but he's also not that great. Uh, best at two-and-a-half star potential, Wide receiver Zach Larkin, a D line at Steven, uh, Steven Stewart, a kicker, Hale Abushi. So, guys, I think I'm going to actually cut the video here. We're not going to jump into our first game today. We'll do that at another time. I just wanted to kind of give you an intro into the game itself. And one last thing I guess I really should bring up, the Hall of Fame. So you can see who has won each of the last Retro Bowls big game right um, player records which we have absolutely none right now because we just started you can introduce players into your own hall of fame you get to choose them so if I go to the roster QB there is a little tab right here and it's starred up in the top right and you can put them in the hall of fame I'm only going to do that when players are just phenomenal and then you see the achievements we have one percent of the achievements and where is that at upgrade your stadium facilities so there's a lot of things to do here, guys, um, and we'll kind of keep up with that as time goes on. But for now, that's Retro Bowl. That's how it looks on the UI side. We'll jump into some games going forward. I hope you guys join me back here again for another fantastic episode. Thank you for joining me. This has been Hugh Gaming, and I'm out.